Hello again, Evan Pinion here with another multi-tool review for you and this time this multi-tool comes from Snap-on and uh, it's actually a pretty nice multi-tool it's fairly inexpensive it doesn't come with a sheath but uh, nevertheless it's uh it's not bad for being an inexpensive multi tool. Um from what I can tell I believe the scales are anodized aluminum and then there's stainless steel underneath for the frame. All the tools except for the plier, the pliers and wire cutters are acces accessible from the outside. You have a knife blade with a thumb stud. And it's just under three inches. It's a drop point design, hollow ground, bead blasted. I don't know what the blade steel is. Uh, and it does lock up with a liner lock. But the problem, uh, excuse me, the problem is that a uh, liner lock is pretty hard to access. So, I mean, you have to like really get in there to get it unlocked and close it. Next to that we have it's easier to get um, we have a can opener and then a bottle opener with a flathead. Now these don't these other tools don't lock but they are in there through sort of a slip joint configuration. On the other side we have a wood saw and this actually locks too with a liner lock and again the same problem with this lock it's hard to get in there but uh it's a nice wood saw and all the tools are bead blasted next to that we have a two-sided file which is coarse and then fine on the other side and a flathead and then a flat Phillips and again they don't lock but they're not the smoothest to get out either opening it up we have spring-loaded pliers we have the wire cutters, regular pliers, needle nose pliers and I'm not sure if you can hear it probably hear that it sounds as if there's sand inside the plier pivot that's how it came uh, so but otherwise they're pretty machine pretty uh machined well and fairly precise um, and it's pretty comfortable in the hand not too uncomfortable not the most comfortable either uh, again, it's not a bad multi-tool if you're in the market for a, an, an inexpensive multi-tool with an outside accessible blade, a nice saw, and a few other features. And um, I'd suggest this is a... you could do worse than this, but uh, this isn't a bad one to consider. But it's uh, definitely not a Leatherman. Definitely not a great multi-tool, but it's not a bad multi-tool either, so. Anyway, that's my review of the Snap-on Multi-Tool. Thanks for watching. God bless.